John and Jimmy DiResta here closing in on the stained glass project. We just have to strengthen the back with a little solder, build a beautiful walnut frame, and then deliver it to the Aquaba. Now that we've finished our stained glass, the next step is to make a frame. Right. All right, so we're gonna make a frame out of one inch thick walnut, but I need to put a notch in it to accept the glass. Hold it tight. We cut the profile of our wood. I put a notch in it so the glass is gonna land right up in here where my thumb is. All right, we're gonna build the frame one side at a time. Once it's all secured, we'll flip it over and secure the glass in from the back. And deliver it. And then deliver it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> it reminds you of working with dad, right? What I put? <laughs> I'm gonna move the glass, put that there with that. Hold on, put what where with what? Put this frame on here. The finishing touch for our stained glass window, while John stains the picture frame, I'm gonna put a copper patina. And now that's to make all the solder turn the color of copper, and it's just the styling design that I chose. Oh, is that quick. You see how that happens? It just, it's a chemical reaction that just sort of happens naturally. Whoa. All Take right. a look. Here we go. Ta-da. There you go. All right, hey, it's a real masterpiece. I give you all the credit on earth. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate it. I can't wait for Glenn and Monique to see it. Let's bring it over. Yeah, let's go put it in place. I think they're going to like it. Our stained glass is finally complete and ready to be hung at John's favorite bed and breakfast, the Aquaba. We started off by drawing a pattern of our design, then we cut the geometric pieces of glass and use a glass grinder to help shave the curved pieces. After the glass was cut and placed, we put copper foil around the edge of each piece and then soldered it together using a soldering iron. Once all the pieces were secured, we added a basic walnut frame for strength, then treated the solder with a copper patina to finish off the window. For about $150, we created a traditional stained glass that will add color and illumination to any room. All right, here we are at the Aquaba. We're about to bring in Monique and the other guests to show them the beautiful stained glass that Jimmy made for this room. All right, Monique, come on in. Bring everybody in. Here you go. Check it out, the stained glass that Jimmy oh made. Oh, my God! Yeah. <laughs> That's the best reaction we ever had. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. You like it? I love it. I love that colors and the lumber. Oh, it's so beautiful. That's right. The, 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 that's Fran and I now. That that's me on the left. That's the husky one. Okay, that's you. Jimmy, Jimmy made it. <laughs> oh wow. Feels good with the room. It's just happy. Yeah. Happy colors. And the fact that stained glass, you don't have to clean as much. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So, you see, we gave it some patina to give it some to give I it a little bit of that. texture and a little bit of age. Guys. All right. Do we get a free uh, meal? We do. I got free. This is a great gift. Thank you got you. it, Lloyd. Yeah, you don't want me to break it down. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Time for dinner. All right, let's go. You got right. it. Yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. For real, what you guys a lot are of fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>